looking to ensure there isn't a goal scored. Gravio Flynn, dominant in the skies there. Well, Will Cork have time for two plays. They may have to work this one in. Will certainly be time for the puck out. So over it goes from Connolly. His fourth point. A two point game. The Waterford have made another change. Paulic Fitzgerald comes in for his fifth championship appearance. The young man from Valley Gunner, only 20 years of age, to try and see them over the line has replaced Mikey Kiley, who's had a very busy afternoon. Collins trying to manage this clock as best he can. Rather, Sean O'Brien, the Waterford goalkeeper, opts to put as much distance between himself and the ball as he possibly can. Keep Cork away from this goal because they do need a goal. Here come Waterford looking for the insurance score. The brilliant hook as he looked to pull the trigger, Patrick Curran, but it fell kindly for him the second time. And he points to the skies as he sends over his second point since coming in as a substitute. There's the full-time whistle. A momentous victory for David Fitzgerald and his Waterford players. So much pressure on them, so much talk around the camp that all was not well, that Waterford and Hurling were struggling, but they've come back to Walsh Park. They're home today, upgraded, refurbished, but maybe it's an upgraded Waterford team as well, because they've started this year's Munster Championship with a huge victory over Cork, and what they had to work incredibly hard for. Celebrations around Walsh Park. Desolation for Cork, who now know next weekend's clash with Clare is an almighty one. And as we draw Brett, Tommy, you've got an opportunity to tell us who stood out for you today, yeah. and ultimately who's the man of the match. Yeah, absolutely. It's all for Waterford today. Mark Fitzgerald and Conor Prunty were did such a tough job with so much space inside. They battled unbelievable in there. Tyke de Barca, how great it was to see him back there again today. Uh, Stephen Bennett, Callum Lyons was exceptional that second half when they really needed him. Inside Dizzy Hutchinson took the freeze brilliantly all day. I thought Mikey Kiley was instrumental in this water victory. But and Jack Prendergast, Jack Prendergast was super again in the air to win ball. But my man in the match today, he scored one three for four mile water the midfield dynamo himself Jamie Barron his 100th appearance in all competitions